Hello, and welcome to Life in Ohio vlog for March 30th, 2020. COVID update number four, I think it is. Hey guys. Um, sorry, I got I had to turn the car on. I just made a run to Kroger to get some uh, drinks. Um, uh, guy, I'm on call this week. First time I've been on call during the outbreak. I don't anticipate a busier time. Springtime at this time of the year has always kind of been a slower time for my company just because um, everyone's trying to graduate their uh, kids in schools, in the schools, because I work, the company I work for is pretty much dealing with uh, higher ed. A lot of them, the kids have already gone home for the term, and they've, if they're finishing the term uh, remotely in most cases. Um, the one thing I want to talk, talk about today is, uh, that one thing a lot of people seem to have forgotten was, was, is, um, not forgotten, it, it's probably they just don't know, um, really the, the only people who really should be wearing masks if they're out and about are people that are actually at the hospital treating the disease or maybe if you like good example is as I have a friend uh, who has kidney failure and uh, his wife's sick so he's helping to take care of her so he's wearing a mask so they keep himself safe um, as far as I know she's doing okay just a cough and a little bit of a temperature could be COVID I'm not 100% sure it's hard to tell yeah, they're out in San Diego, but, uh, in any event, those are cases you should wear them, but there's others that, uh, that I've seen people wearing them, uh, when I'm out and about, they're wearing them to the grocery store so they can make their grocery run, and I understand it, but, uh, I think t that sometimes people are a little bit too, uh, um, concern with it. For First, you don't really have to wear one when you go to the grocery store. But, if you are going to wear one, if if your doctor told you to wear one, then wear one. But wear it properly. I saw a few surgical masks. Uh, you know, basically, if you've seen masks, you know what I'm talking about. The little mask that goes over them. Those are more to protect. You know, when surgeons wore those, they don't wear them as much now. They wear different things now. But when they wore those, they wore them uh, more to protect the person they're working on than they, than they uh, protect them. Um, the type we're talking about, the type that most of these medical professionals should be wearing now and are wearing now are what these they call these N95 masks. Now there's been a kind of an interesting trend in the... 3D printing community to, was to print these masks and give them to hospitals. That works if you know someone who you can give them to, or if you have a, a group that's taken that into account. But I have PLA, I have plastic, and one of the things that I think is not clear is, is how safe is the plastic in the PLA for those masks. That's one. Two, uh, another one they've been doing is they'll print the frame, they'll get some uh, elastic, and they'll make a face shield with that and some um, acetate film. First, I've never bought that film. I wouldn't even know where to get it. Um, I can't. I have printed a couple of the frames just just to say I did it. Um, but again, I'm just not so sure how those safe those are. So, um, in most cases, the th people I see at least wearing the mask they either wear a surgical mask or an N95 mask. The N95 masks I've seen people wearing, uh, those ones appear to be just fine. Uh, they're, they're pretty hard to screw up when you put them on. But, the ones that, uh, I see people wearing incorrectly are the surgical masks. For example, 
I saw someone wearing one that covers their mouth, but doesn't cover their nose. Well, that's not doing you any good at all. Uh, because now you're breathing unfiltered air. Um, further, you know, most most medical professionals I've seen as of late, it says, don't bother with those. So, uh, but that's one thing I'm thinking about. The other I'm thinking about here is just the social distancing stuff all together. I want to go ahead and put, put this in here and talk while I drive. Um, but social distancing, you know, they're talking what, six feet separation, no groups bigger than ten, you know, um, a retail environment that's actually quite hard to do. Because people, uh, are all looking for sometimes the same things and you know and the aisles themselves aren't large enough to give you a six foot radius on you know basically they need to be about 10 to 12 feet wide so that each person going down the aisle can have their six feet of space and What's the use of six feet of space is if you touch, if somebody has COVID-19 or any symptomatic, what's the use of six feet of space if they touch something and then less than five minutes later you touch something that they touched. So now you probably might possibly have been exposed. I say possibly because the other thing I've heard with this is that a lot of times they say you need to have prolonged exposure to it. So just touching it just for a bit it or something like that doesn't necessarily get it and you might have it on your hands like you don't touch your face and then all of a sudden you, that uh, you wash your hands and you're just fine okay so that's I don't know it it feels like uh, schadenfreude or um, just kind of like that it's something that the government is telling people to do so that they feel safer. Kind of like TSA with security. So, I'm not saying that it, you know, doesn't do anything, and I'm not saying that that's not a good thing, but it's not actually protecting you from getting it. That's why I'm saying. Um, you may not get other things uh, because of that. Is it actually going to protect you from uh, COVID-19? Probably not. So, um, but that's all up to you. You know, right now, um, if you don't feel safe, don't go out. If you feel okay and you're not sick, go out if you want to. I mean, it's not going to make a much of a difference. So, but, uh, I will say this. Take a break from watching the media. Don't watch it 24-7. If, if you're stuck at home, uh, you do have other things that you can do. Other things that you can watch. Don't watch things like contag- contagion, contagion, uh, which that believes a movie that was on Netflix recently or Outbreak or something like that um, first off those are works of fiction those don't necessarily mean that uh, they're true <laughs> you know, they, they had to make things dramatic for people so um, anyway right now I think it's about all I'm going to talk about today um, we're doing okay. Had had a um a good day yesterday with my son, as much as we can. So, all right, talk to you later. Bye.